was about a year ago now when I made Testing, testing. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all see me? Let me get this out of my face. What about now? Can y'all hear me now? This is a trial run, so don't judge me. Testing, yeah, I see that comment. So I guess that works. Y'all let me know if, if everything's working on my end. All right, you can see and hear you. Good to hear. I'm good, how are y'all? <laughs> I think this will be a lot of fun. I don't know where, I never know where to put this mic though when I'm recording, where it's, that's, could be fine. Not like it matters that much. I could put it right here and y'all probably will be happy so you don't have to see my face. A bit quiet. Alright. I'm going to adjust a little bit. So what about now? Now I have everything adjusted to what I think should be good. Also had to make sure the mic was good. All right, so is everything still good now? Now that I adjusted the volume a little bit, make sure it's not too loud. Y'all can hear that little bit of music going in the background. All right, good, much better, good, all right. I like to hear it. However, I don't have this optimized. I have to face this way to see the chat, and then I have the mic over here. I need to make a note about that so I can change it in the future. Can't really make a note without a pen though, can I? Alright, 
Glad to hear it's better. Alright. Mike and chat on opposite sides. Must change. I'm, I'm setting up an Arch Linux VM because I kind of want to just redo my whole Arch Linux. I'm finally getting back into it from like almost a year ago. I've always used my Arch Linux, but I mean like making my own rice. And I'm going to make mine basically from scratch. I got to do a little bit of research on how to go about making an image from a virtual machine and seeing how easily I can convert that and, and basically have it dual booted on a physical machine if not then it'll just be a trial run where i can mess anything up all i want because i can just revert back or create a new uh, a vm for arch linux so if i mess anything up along the way i'll just make sure i have a bunch of clones and i'll be uh i, I should be good RCWM, I, I'm, I'm going to continue to use Awesome WM, and uh, I would like to figure out a few other things on this stream after we get everything set up, as this is not the right journal, well, it kind of is, where do I have it listed, anyway, like, what do I want for my terminal emulator, I use Kitty, what do I want for, I don't know, some of these other, other customizations that I can make, I know I want to do awesome, and then I want to go from there to try to figure out exactly exactly what I want, and hopefully y'all can help me along the way. We'll do some research on a stream and whatnot. I think if you like ultimate customization, and you actually have the time to customize your stuff, and you don't care about it being super easy, then I suggest Arch for you. So like... It's a little bit more time consuming sometimes than if you were to just have Ubuntu, but I like the uh, ability to customize. Drinking some uh, store-bought coffee since we closed down first supply coffee. Hey, coffee's coffee. Cali or Arch? Arch. I mean, unless you're doing like Penetration testing, cyber security stuff, then you can't really beat Cali, right? What do you think of learning Spring Boot? I'm main Java programmer, but I don't use Spring Boot in, in my job. I mean, if you don't need it in your job, then you don't need it. I think I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not using it for this project engagement that I've been talking about in my videos because I think it's a little bit more than what I need. I think it's going to be a very simple application where we're just going to use the Mern stack. And I know like people may want to get up in arms about that. Oh, Mern stack, you can build big applications with Mern stack. Oh, you can build small applications with Spring Boot, but you can also build, I don't know. You can also do data science work with Java kind of, but it's not as good as Python. So I figured Mern stack will be good for this and Spring Boot if you want to learn that. It's a good thing to learn if you need it. Hello, Evan. What did Evan ask? I don't. Honda Saha, what's up, man? You're really work hard work and love you. Hey, I appreciate it. And you know, just messing with Arch. Arch users be like, switch to Arch. Yeah, I use Arch, by the way. <laughs> I wonder why that for me oh yeah everyone who is just now tuning in I said this at the beginning of the stream this is kind of like a test stream I will be doing the Arch Linux VM setup 100% but I am just kind of testing things out and and, and just testing out the stream one I, I know I asked all y'all to subscribe to or follow me on Twitch but at the same time I kind of yeah, that's a snowboard bag. I kind of just want to go on YouTube because all of y'all are already on YouTube. <laughs> However, since we are testing and I don't, and I'm, and I want to procrastinate for a couple more minutes, let me, uh, give me a sec. All right. 
jacket. Eh, I don't feel like taking it all the way out. But this is my snowboard. Yeah, I know, a little short, but it's it's easily maneuverable. Let me to clean up my mess. I tried a beard, but I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, a lot of people complain about itchy, itchy beard. I don't really get that. I mean, sometimes maybe, but people are like, oh, you gotta really, really tough it out. Uh, I mean, I guess it's all from person to person. I'll be using Awesome WM for Arch. That's what I have on my dual boot system. That's what I'm gonna do on my VM. Now we're, we'll repeat one more time. I'm making it on the VM to kind of test things out. If I mess something up, I mess something up. But the whole point is to just kind of get back in the groove of actually installing Arch so I don't mess it up on my actual hard drive. And then I'm going to do a little bit more research with y'all to see what exactly I want. Also in WM, I've already determined that's what I want. And then we'll go from there, how I want to customize my... Uh, my operating system. Virtual box. <sighs> I haven't used Ubuntu since I worked at, at, at my old job. I don't know. I just, I like Ubuntu. Ubuntu is great. But I like to, I just really got into the habit of just messing around with, uh, with Linux and what's the 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 distro that you can mess around with the most? That's Arch Linux, so I like that. What kind of chair is that you're using? Well, I appreciate the five dollars, I really do. This chair behind me, right here, is the Autonomous Ergo Chair Two. Now they sent it to me about a year ago now, and I remember I had like I I liked it, and then I was kind of like. Eh, is it really that good? And then my buddy who I gave my old chair to, I went over and I sat in it. I'm like, oh, wow. This chair is actually a lot better than I gave it credit for. So it's nice. It's it's expensive. It's not Herman Miller expensive, but like, I don't know. What is it? 300 bucks. So uh, maybe I'm just cheap. I don't know. I don't see just program. I don't see w where you're referring to when you say I just, oh, I just, I thought you said it's just like WSL. Easy to use and it's a Linux terminal. Yeah, a lot of people have been telling me about WSL because I'm like, I can't get away from Windows 10. I wanna be full on Linux, Arch Linux, by the way. <laughs> and everyone's saying WSL2, WSL2 is a lot better than WSL, but isn't that just Win Linux like on Windows? Correct me if I'm wrong. What are we doing here? I don't understand. I'm going to be creating a virtual machine and setting up Arch Linux on that virtual machine, which a lot of people seem to think it's like a daunting task. And I mean, it can be, but I mean, and don't necessarily think of this as a tutorial. Just, I mean, we're just hanging out. We're just hanging out and having some Linux fun. And that's gonna be my development environment once I make it on a dual boot or maybe I'll just keep it on VM, who knows. Difference between Ubuntu and Arch, it's just different Linux distros. Arch is more customizable. And when I say more customizable, don't think like, oh, it's Ubuntu, but I can do whatever I want. No, like 
Like you have to customize it. You, you see, so you have to customize it in order to make it something that you want and turn it into like an Ubuntu, but your own Ubuntu. Yep, creating a virtual machine. I mean, just, just in a virtual box, just putting one together real quick. I already have everything. Like when I tried to stream on Twitch, maybe a month ago now, I had everything. Uh, I had, I thought I saw someone I recognize in the chat, but I had everything. I didn't have anything ready. I didn't have the ISO downloaded. I didn't have, actually what I, what I didn't have is in my BIOS, I didn't have a, I forget what it's called. I didn't have like the virtualization enabled. So I could only do 32 bit. And obviously I don't want to do 32 bit in, as my virtual machine. So I had to go in and reset the BIOS. And obviously I had to reset everything. That's actually kind of funny. I forgot I still have stream alerts set up on this and someone just followed me. Uh, Twitch alerts, someone just followed me on Twitch when I'm streaming on YouTube. All right, I should probably disable that. <laughs> All right, I disabled the alerts. I don't know if that'll disable the sound. Oh, look, that's y'all. Alerts. Nope. Uh-oh. That's a problem, isn't it? Eh, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Can you make a live video building a real world app project from scratch? I have been considering making a project engagement from, I, I will be making project engagement from scratch with, with the Mern stack, but I've been considering live streaming it. I don't know. I don't know if I want to live stream it. it. It's a little daunting. And I thought his name was Forrest. My name is Forrest. Oh, why is everyone asking me what's my name? Yeah, my name is Forrest. Forrest is how people pronounce it. For some reason, I say Forrest. This camera is just a uh, Logitech. 920 just a webcam what is the best distro eh, whatever you want it to be really depends on what you want do you have tip any tips for growing a YouTube programming channel these weren't tips but I would say watch my last video that I uploaded because you can see a little bit more about the behind the scenes on my YouTube channel and revenue streams and stuff like that. But as for tips, make interesting content that you think you'd want to watch with titles and thumbnails that'll draw people in, not clickbait, meaning make sure those are applied to your actual video that they're on. Should I use project management services like J Jira Trello for my personal projects? That's what I've always used, except recently I've fully converted everything over to notion and if you did watch my last video i did lock in the notion deal so i told you either way i'm going to be making that video but i'm going to be going over everything because i have youtube that i really need to like i have deadlines and all this stuff for youtube and then i have coding projects and then i have um a di another business that i'm starting launching next week i think it's an outdoors business but then Basically the rest of my life, I just kind of use it on, on notion. And if I do any, like yesterday, I was trying to see my most viewed videos among my subscribers. Cause there are people who will watch and are not subscribed. So I wanted to see what y'all, my subscribers liked the most. And I documented all that data into like a notion table. It's kind of nice. I'm very much a, uh, I like everything consolidated into one space. So having my my coding projects on jira and then my video stuff on trello and then and then google calendar for my calendar and then excel sheets or google sheets for any of my tables it's really nice that i can do all of that in notion oswath s there you go called out your name yeah we're going to use VirtualBox. what's arch it's a linux distro Best desktop environment for low-end PCs, like on Arch? I don't know. In all honesty, I haven't really been... I don't know what the... Uh, for low-end PCs, is El, isn't elementary OS pretty light? Could be wrong. I look more so at window managers. Don't ask me why. That's just kind of what I, 
I, I've been going towards. So the full on desktop environments, I don't know what's better or worse or lighter or heavier. All right, I'm gonna continue to read the chat, but I wanna. Sorry, I got caught off guard. <laughs> Y'all probably thought I froze. Um, I'm gonna move the chat over here and let's see. We're gonna have to go with screen capture for now, I suppose. Oh, what happened to my chat? All right. I kind of like y'all right here. Again, I will repeat again. This is a test stream, testing out how I like things and where I like things. I'm gonna be redoing my whole entire office over the next month and I wanna make sure I'm able to stream as well as record whatever videos I want. And while I'm doing this, if you haven't liked the video or the live stream, I'd appreciate it. want this here that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this nope there we go that should be good that's annoying sorry still adjusting the chat I don't like it right there That's one thing about the Twitch. I'm able to have it inside of OBS. This should work. See, and this is why I like a tiling window manager in Arch Linux. So I don't have to worry about putting this window here and that window there. It just all locks in and I can see every window and it's not floating above another. That's actually incredibly applicable to this particular stream so we have that there let's see yeah this is really a nuisance I know y'all can't see it by the way in case anyone mentions that this is on my personal screen that I don't want y'all to see All right, how does this look? I know it's a little small because I have a 1440p monitor, so everything is just kind of, because it's it's 27 inches and it's 1440p, so it makes everything, like, it's big for me, but it's, like, small for y'all, at least when it comes to all of, uh... Hold up. Why is chat... Oh, I'm an idiot. I have everything set up for Twitch, so I'm like, why isn't chat showing? It's supposed to show supposed to show right here and also when I go over to this area right here it's supposed to show right there but I don't have it set up for YouTube that's okay let me make that note so if I can do that I want to do that show YouTube chat on screen I my can it's probably just couple extra steps I just haven't done it yeah the text is unreadable I may have a solution actually so let me put this let me just put it that's not where I wanted it keep doing I think a good idea may be to try to just expand this and then I'll adjust this within here I'll just have to keep note that this is all y'all could see better worse yeah I did I did Windows left arrow and I thought I was going to snap it to the left, but for some reason it went all the way to my other monitor, which didn't make any sense. That's why it caught me off guard.
I can't, I can't show how to install Linux directly because I won't be running Windows when I'm installing it, meaning I can't, like, I guess I could if I had, like, my phone set up as, like, an over-the-shoulder shot or, like, a laptop and you're just looking over my shoulder, but I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Virtual box. It's readable. All right, I got a one. It's readable. Let me know otherwise. Duplicate. Please, please. Also, I'm, I'm more out of the way now. I should be good. So you don't have a chat or nothing. You didn't miss anything. Just a and a so far. Really? I'm just chilling like the whole day. So I'm not in any rush to get this work done. <laughs> oh. Let me tuck in under here. All right, better it's good, better now, better now, readable, readable. It's readable, but a tiny bit fuzzy. Yeah, that's the nature of things. The only alternative, and I'm going to try this just for fun. The only alternative if it's, is if I wanted, uh, will the... That's so ugly. Let me actually that's not a bad idea let me shrink this back down and y'all tell me if you like this better better it should be less fuzzy but what about the font size you think you can see enough let's pretend we're going in and Jeez, that really messes up like my mouse speed and stuff. <laughs> Let's pretend we're coming in and we're naming this Arch Linux live because we're doing it live. 64 bit, that's good. We're gonna give this, we're gonna give this 16 gigabytes of RAM or roughly, that's not, I think that's 16 gigabytes of RAM. Close enough. I have 32 gigabytes on the machine. Not that I'm going to need that for this, but I mean, why not? So the font's too small now. Reduce resolution, reduce resolution. Better before. All right, I'm going to cancel that just because it obviously wasn't better. What if I hit 1920 by 1080? Oh, good Lord. I don't want to change the resolution because that... Actually, no. That everything did mess up over here. Let me snap, snap. Again, I repeat. We're just testing and hanging out, so... It is what it is. Actually, no, that didn't mess that up. Shouldn't. Make the text as small as possible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why I couldn't read the rest of that. Why don't you just use everything as normal and just change the font size in, in Arch? Well, because I want you to be able to see about the virtual box itself when I set up the actual VM. I'm installing too. Yeah, if, if anyone wants to follow along, if you want to follow along, the only things you got to do now is make sure you have VirtualBox and make sure you have the ISO installed because that's, well, that shouldn't take too long. But just make sure you have the most recent Arch ISO installed or not installed, downloaded. Downloaded. Yeah. 
Network, your network is so slow. I can see is 144p. Well, I can't help you with that one. <laughs> Monk, you're too nice. <laughs> Alright, um, sorry, I got distracted by y'all again. Let me test this one more time. That's really annoying how it does that over there. Let's keep changes. This is really ugly on my screen, but it may be beneficial for y'all, so. How's that look? Come on now. I'm messing around with stuff over here. Oh, uh, hold up. Sorry about that. Let me adjust. All right. What about this? I think this should be good. I think this is the best, the best we've had it yet, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, this is perfect. Okay. So if you ever want to stream, I guess don't get... Big 1440p monitors. Get something small like a little 1080p laptop so it, it, everyone else can see your screen and that you don't have to be all weird about it. All right. Yeah, you're going to have to go full screen if not. I, I wish I could have chat on the screen. I just don't know how to do that. Actually... Let me type in brave how to add chat. Wait, yes I can. I'll just have to snap it into place. How to add chat, how to add YouTube chat, YouTube chat in OBS. Um, setting up live chat that updates with new. How to add stream chat to OBS, Windows Central. Okay, see, that's what I want, but I want y'all to be able to see it, like, on here. That's not, my, that's not my question. This is so hard to read because I'm so used to being able to see so much more of the screen. <laughs> Go to OBS Studio, browser, choose the URL, you created step two. Yeah, maybe I do have to use my URL. I'm gonna test this out and then. Hmm. Oh yeah, I could just, could just mess with this. Eh, that's okay. I want y'all to be able to see it more so than it being convenient for me to be honest with you. Also, Y'all know that one guy, uh, Tahu Types? I don't know how to pronounce it. Actually, give me a sec. Nope, that's not right. I need him to make me... I would love to get him to make me a, a, a keyboard. I buy a keyboard from him, a custom one for me. That'd be sick. I broke off my control key like a while ago and I just haven't I could glue it back on but like I don't know just be like a custom built mechanical keyboard mhm mm the guy who's like he's on he's on YouTube I think he streams on Twitch I could be wrong maybe he streams on YouTube but he makes them customizable keyboards he made one for Dave 2D made one for Tifu he makes makes them for paying customers I assume that would be sick I'd love to be able to get one made by him Just someone just asked, how's it looking in Apple Watch? Can you watch a live stream in Apple Watch? <laughs> this is not the live stream for you. <laughs> All right. I'm actually going to test this out real quick. 
y'all can't watch this though because I don't want to leak any of, any of the sensitive like stream keys or anything. So I'm gonna just try this real quick. It, may, it probably won't work, but that's okay. God, now I can't, now I can't see this. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Actually, maybe I have to bring this all the way up here. Uh. Yeah, no. I don't, I don't think that was the answer to this problem. That's okay. Y'all just will not be able to see the chat on screen. I'll get that fixed eventually, but I don't care to do it all right now. Y'all see me like over, over exaggerating my mouse pulls. Like I'm, I'm trying to hit that X and I go past it. It's cause of the re this resolution. <laughs> I have DPI buttons right here, but like you see, wait, can you see that? I know it's little, but, but even still I can't get it just right. Nah, that ain't right. All right, we're gonna hop into the Arch Linux. No. We're gonna hop into setting up the Arch Linux VM in VirtualBox. I'm gonna hit new. We're gonna name this Arch Linux Live. And 64-bit Linux, good. As I said before, this isn't necessarily a tutorial, just let's hang out and set up Arch Linux. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Every time. We're gonna give this 16 gigabytes of RAM just because I have 32 and why not? Create a virtual hard disk now, create VDI next, dynamically dynamically allocated. And then um, I never know what to do for this. We'll just hit it with 32, I guess, I don't know. That's not a big, I don't know, not that big of a deal for me right now. So Arch Linux Live, now let's hit the set. No, I don't wanna start it, I don't wanna start it. Cancel. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I want to go to settings. I want to go through all the settings so I don't miss anything. So base memory, we already did that. Processor, we'll give another, we'll, we'll bump it up to two. Acceleration, I don't think, I don't think I, I need those. Display. I'm just gonna do one monitor for now. Video memory, I'm gonna throw that all the way up. 3D acceleration, just in case I may need it. Storage, and we'll get to that later. And no, I can get to it now. I'm just gonna add in my Arch ISO, choose. That's gonna be the primary master right here. Audio, network, wait. Let me make sure. Remote display. No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Serial port, USB, shared folders. None of that really matters. I am. I'll just keep those. I'll just keep these enabled. General. I feel like I missed something. I feel like there's something that I normally do that I didn't do, but I guess if it really affects my workflow, <laughs> then I'll find out. All right. Let me get my notes. This your first time doing Arch Linux? No. As you can see, I've set up a handful. Actually, I set up one and I just cloned a bunch. I have Arch Linux dual boot on this machine and even before that, I set it up like a half dozen times just to make sure I wouldn't mess up an actual install of Arch Linux because a virtual machine doesn't really matter that much. And yes, the default, that's fine. EFI, uh, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do DOS. <laughs> 16 gigabytes only for a virtual machine. That's it. Like I said, I don't think I'll need it, but why not? Yeah, speaking of YouTubers, 
who do uh, who do Linux stuff. DistroTube. DistroTube is who I would I followed along with a while ago, and I got all these notes. I know y'all can't see that. I'm in little screen, but I got all these notes among. Hey, 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 hey. I got all those notes among a couple other pages worth just to make sure I got it done. I, I don't follow his exact Arch Linux install. There's a few things I do difference. Like he does, he does EFI, I think. And he, I think he also does uh, a fat. Um, instead of like extended four, so. What can happen when you mess up this kind of things? Uh, I don't know, I try not to mess up. What's a PC build? I have a full build video of this PC build on my channel. It's the most recent one, which is like a year ago, but a rundown, just so y'all know what I'm working with. Let me think. I have the AMD Ryzen 3700X. I have the stock cooler. I'm always meant to upgrade it to some some of that cool like piping stuff in my machine, but I didn't, or or just at least a typical liquid cooler. I want to use my old liquid cooler, but it wouldn't fit on here, or at least I didn't have the right bracket for it. And then I have a uh, 32 gigabytes of G Skill RAM Trident Z, uh, two 16 gigabyte sticks, properly slotted in the motherboard. The motherboard is X570 Aorus, um, Elite Master or something like that. And then uh. I actually got, let me see if I can find that thing. Hold on. Where's my other graphics card? All right, I'm either blind or I did not put my graphics card in my closet like I thought I did. But I had I, I bought a 2060 Super. Remember, this was right when they came out. But Nvidia sent me a uh, the RTX Titan, which is like a $2,500 uh, 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 GPU, which isn't better at it's better at everything than my card, but it isn't better at everything than like. A cheaper card it just depends like that was when i was doing like the ai machine learning stuff and that helped out with that with that type of work and they just sent it over to me and then uh what else is there oh yeah i have like you know the solid nvme hard drives and stuff like that the fastest i have an oris one and i have a western digital one and then nzxt case it's, i think 750 watt gold power supply something like that no 3000 series yet? No, because right before the 3000 series came out, they sent me the Titan. And I have had zero troubles with the Titan, so there's no point in me upgrading. The next time I, I do upgrade, I'll probably just rebuild the whole entire thing. And when I rebuild the whole entire thing, I say this now, but I probably won't then. But I say this now, hold me to it. I want to do some of that really cool... Let's see. Let me hop out of this real quick. Some of that really cool... Uh water cooling what is it custom water cooling uh cooling pc because they may bring out like a water cooled truck like this type of stuff like these wait oh no you can see it like these tubes here or like these tubes here and if they're blurry for you yeah the pictures are blurry for me as well for some reason oh that's not see like these types of tubes i think that would be sick I'd love to do that on my next build or upgrade this build with it. But I just have other things going on that I just, I'm just not going to right now. <laughs> Evidence that Jesus uses arch. Good grief. <laughs> make a video about it then. If I do it, I'll definitely make a video about it. Send it to Linus Tech Tips. What does he does he make PCs for other people? You bought a 2060 Super and they sent you a 2080 Titan. Is that what it is? A 2080? 
whatever the Titan is, I don't know, it's like 2500 bucks. At least it was when they sent it to me. And uh, yeah, I got the 2060 Super last year when I actually did the build and then they reached out, or no, actually Ken G, who's a data science YouTuber and data scientist, he connected me with, uh, with his contact at NVIDIA because he does data science and NVIDIA, obviously their GPUs and stuff help with that type of work with machine learning and, and, and those types of algorithms. And he connected me with his contact and they sent me off this and I, I didn't have to make a video about it. They just wanted me to like kind of plug it in some videos, but I'm like, I, I would love to make a video about this. That's kind of how like the YouTube thing works. Sometimes people will send stuff. Sometimes people send stuff to you and not even ask for anything. Just hope you put it in a video. I've, I've been either sent things or asked if people can send me things. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want that. You're not going to get any of my videos. Cause they're just like random, random tech. Also, if you are following along with this install, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm in no rush to get this done. <laughs> I'm just kind of chilling. But what do I have open? Arch, Brave, VirtualBox, Settings. Eh, I'm going to keep that open for when I need to change it. All right. All right. I just got to make sure I have open when I need open. These headphones are good headphones. I hear they have a wireless one now. I, I'd, lo I'd love those. Those, are pr those would be pretty cool. All right. What I want to do first. Can y'all see? Y'all can't see that all too well. Let me. Um, is this the right? Yeah. So there is supposed to be a chat right there if I was on Twitch. Wait. Let me disable that so y'all don't go to Twitch and try to chat. <laughs> It's disabled, so don't even try. All right, so I, I just put it in here. This should be easier to see than uh, than it was before. So where am I at? ISO, set a VM, I booted with ISO. I shouldn't have, did I just mess something up? Y'all ever, ever start typing and you realize you're not typing and then you just open up a bunch of stuff? Ping. Google.com. Oh yeah, I'm in a virtual box, duh. I'm like, why is this working? <laughs> All right. So we want to make sure we have the time, date, control, set, and TP true. Stop following me on Twitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, y'all can follow me on Twitch, but just, just, I don't want the alerts right now. <laughs> All right. So time, date, control, status. All right. Everything's there. I don't think that's the right time, but I think when I do a system clock, like later on, I'll set it to, to New York time zone. I'm not in New York, but I'm in the same time zone. <laughs> y'all are trolling, bro. Y'all are trolling. Please. <laughs> All right, get out your systems. Does everyone follow right now? Um, and I say that because I'm gonna find out how to how I turn on those alerts so I can turn them off. I don't remember how I turned them on because I did this like a month ago. <laughs> um, oh, I know what I need to do. I need to unhide all. Duh. All right. Alert. No. What? I don't even have a... I don't... I don't even have an alert audio. So why is it making noise? Let's 
You think I know how to use computers at this point? Control audio via OBS. All right, I accomplished it. If it dings again, then I'm not even gonna worry about it, but it said I muted it, so we should be good. All right. I don't know what script Chris Titus did in his latest video. If you're asking me where I'm from, I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Morocco Hacker is here. All right, Morocco Hacker, please don't hack me. I come in peace. All right, where am I at? Status. Yes, yeah, so all that's good. I'll, I'll, I'll set it to New York Times Zone shortly. And now this is when we do CF Disc. I think all my notes are for, are for like dual booting it. So things may be slightly different, but I'm just gonna follow along as if I were dual, like, like, and when I say dual booting, it's for if I do it on a physical machine. I really don't know how much of a difference there is between virtual machine and physical machine in terms of like the disc space and stuff like that. So I like to use CF disk, we're gonna with DOS, we're going with new. I had 32, so I'm gonna make it 30, so we have room for a swap. Primary, and the bootable, right? And then, we wanna, new, that's fine. Primary, right, primary, but the type is going to be Linux swap. And then that should be good, so that's right. Yes and quit clear what do i want to do next make file swap is that what that stands for it's for if you're wondering why i do some things certain ways i'll remember why i did some things certain ways but other things i may be confused about make swap dev SDA two, and then I'm going to swap on the SDA two, SDA two. So it should be good there. And then I got to mount SDA one, mount dev SDA one mount. All right. Let me make sure. Oh, even if I think I know what I'm doing, let me just double check. And then I remember going into mirror list. For something like this, but I also don't remember why I went in the mirror list. I'm supposed to delete all except for the the six U.S. mirrors, but I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> um, Packstrap right mount base Linux Linux firmware mount base Linux firmware. All right, that will not take long, but. Mm. Did, did you ever answer that question about the script that you're talking about? Because I, I don't know what you're referring to. Who said that comment? Hamza Barbara. Hamza, Hamza, Hamza. I don't think I see another response from you. Yeah, I don't know what script you're referring to. Why not EFI? I don't know. I did it this way last time, so my some my problem is sometimes I will do all the research necessary. Oh, y'all can't see my entire That's actually annoying. Sorry about that. Actually, yeah, I don't care about that part. Let me just, let me just ensure that I am good. Should be good. All right. Now y'all can see basically all you need to see, I think. 
Um, what was I saying? I think I was saying sometimes my problem is I will know. Oh no, I'll do a bunch of research into something and then I'll come to a conclusion on that thing. But at, after a while, I'll r forget how I came to that conclusion. So when someone asks, oh, why, why not EFI? I don't know. My past self determined that and I'm going to trust him. Not going to install the DE. I'm going to install awesome WM tiling window manager. All right, where are we at now? What did I just do? Pack strap? Y'all can see this now, right? Okay, good. Sorry if you were trying to follow along. Let me go back through just in case you were trying to follow along. After all that, I pinged Google just to make sure I was connected. I did time date control set dash NTP true. Y'all should have been able to see all that though since it's at the top of the stream. And then I checked the status on the time date. And then I CF dist. Oh, I CF disk and then I did a bunch of stuff in CF disk. DOS, new, 30 gigabyte, primary, bootable. And then I went down and then for the swap, for the extra two gigabytes, well, I did I did new and then made sure it was the rest two gigabyte primary type, 82 Linux swap. And then I wrote and then I typed in yes in order to write it. And then I quit and I cleared it. And then I make file swap like that, make swap like that. Swap on like that. Mount. I mounted the uh, actual Linux, not the Linux swap, of course, and then I pack strapped that. I don't think anyone's following along, but just in case. Hey, code R. I'm gonna. I'll double down on that. You do want to get best at one language and then and then go into others. Obviously, that it doesn't always work out that way. It didn't work out that way for me. And I mean, I'd probably be a better developer if it if it did work out that way. But I mean, just think about it. If you get really good at one language and how to build things, and you have not just the language syntax, but how that language works, and and, and all the principles and stuff of that language. You know how much easier it is going to, to learn another language? I don't care if it's from Java to Python. The syntax may be a, a decent amount different, but you're still going to understand the concepts. Instead of just learning like basic concepts in one language and then learning basic concepts in the other language, you're like, oh, look, I know the syntax of these two languages. Who cares about the syntax if you don't know how to use it? I just answered this, everything 100. I use DOS because I don't, remember why <laughs> I came to that conclusion a while ago and I'm just gonna trust myself what am I trying to do I'm setting up an Arch Linux virtual machine using VirtualBox and this is no like time sensitive work we're just chilling having a good time I've been doing a lot of research in Qtile I think the Python how it's written in Python is cool and I feel like it has a lot of it's come a long way in the past 10 years or eight years or however long it may have been lo out longer than that but it's come a long way and i just kind of like awesome I don't, i'm not sure it'll be that much different i don't think lua is really that difficult so i could just do I, I have some some deals already written in lua on my other uh arch linux so I made I, it'll be easier for me to just do that instead of try to rewrite everything in Python. EFI and Linux does not mix. Is there a difference between EFI and UEFI? Because I know a lot of people who do UEFI. I say I know them. I watch their stuff online, and that's typically what they do. <laughs> Yes, you want to make sure you watch me install Arch 
overdoing your homework tonight. That is due tonight. It's three. Th Arik, if that's how you pronounce your name. Where are you located? Because I don't know where it's 3.30 a.m. For me, it is 2.30 p.m. So we are 11 hours away. And also, is it January 30th or 31st? 30th, right? Or no, 31st. EFI and UAFI as a term are the same. It used to be called EFI and now it's UAFI. Is it ever two? Okay. Fair enough. Unified EFI. Okay, okay. I remember reading that. <laughs> I have, I guess I technically, I guess technically I have four Arch Linux VMs and one physical Arch Linux. January 31st in Pakistan. Good stuff. 2 a.m. here. Good grief. I need a. So if it's 2 a.m. there, let me do the math real quick. So if it's 2 a.m., 3 a.m., well, obviously it's 2.30 or 3.30, right? But if it is around that time, y'all are 14 hours ahead. So if I wanted y'all to come in at a more prime time for y'all, probably be at night, right? Nine? Nine o'clock? Wait, no. If, if, if y'all came in at 9 p.m., that means I would have to stream like right right in the morning at 8. At like 8 a.m. Bro, you don't want to you don't want to see me. Nobody wants to talk to me at 8 a.m. Let alone me stream at 8 a.m. I'm grumpy. Why you stopped? Cause I'm just chilling. Oh, you're from Malaysia. 31st. Good stuff. So we have people from Pakistan, Malaysia, Egypt, Belgium. Good stuff. Have you tried Apple Silicone MacBooks? No, I would love to, but there's no point in me buying a laptop when I when I just got given two laptops that do everything that I need. So as much as I like, well, to be, to, to be fair, I haven't had a an Apple laptop since my mid-2012 MacBook Pro that I tried to keep alive forever, and it still is alive, but I got this. Y'all probably haven't seen this because my video on this didn't really get many views in comparison, but this is like the Yoga 9i, and I use this now as my primary machine, uh, primary laptop. Obviously, I use this on my primary machine. I never use a laptop anyway. Um, over the LG Gram that I had last year, because this has the 11th gen Intel rather than the 10th gen. Let me put this back. Yeah, chat, it, chat probably should be delayed. Just because y'all's information probably gets to me immediately. But I can actually see, it's not that chat's delayed, it's that I'm delayed to y'all. So I can see chat immediately, but then I am probably five to 10 seconds behind because I can see what's happening live versus what is being streamed over to YouTube. So that's why things are a little bit delayed in case you're curious. Gen 2, have I tried Gen 2? Gen 2, I have not. I've not tried Gen 2. I've only really done Ubuntu and Arch Linux. And with Arch, I've tested out different uh, uh, environments, different ma window managers, but I ultimately decided on Awesome back in the day and I just want to stick with it. I have the broken Logitech G 10 keyless keyboard. It has a really long name, but you type in that, you'll find it. I actually really like it. I'm kind of bummed that the control key broke off, but that just goes to show how often I use control. Control C, control V. 
I don't know if I should brag about that. <laughs> Boring? Put user in timeout. How's that for boring? <laughs> oh, the power. <laughs> What's up, TP? No, it's not a cherry switch. It's the the uh, Logitech. Lo oh, I'm an idiot. Y'all can't see my whole screen. You can only see this right here. Um, aha, Logitech switches. Yeah, they have their own switches. It does. That's my that's my keyboard right there. But they have their own sw own custom. Wait, no. This is different than what I have. See, this is not the same as what I have. They have their K Romer G. That's what it's called. See, these are the switches that I have. They're just like Logitech's custom Romer G mechanical switches. Oh, let me keep one of these open. Yeah. Arco Linux. Dr. Go instead of Google is really good. Yeah, I probably should, but that's just the default and basically everything. Uh, I could probably go in the browser and set Dr. Go as a default, though, can I? I hope you're not asking me what book I recommend because I don't read. Where are we at? What do we st end off as? Packstrap. All right, so we're going to do Gen F Stab U. Mount. And we're going to mount F stab. I know it's FS tab. I just always call it F stab. <laughs> and then we're going to go into Arch Shroot. I'm going to mount that. So now we're in Shroot. LN SF user share. This will be a fun one. Share zone info. America, no. America, and I'm New York time zone. And then, um, etc. Local, t nope. Local time. All right, HW clock. Sis. Right, right, right. All right. And then um, I know I'm going to need this, so I'm going to go ahead and install Nano. Or should I install Vim? <laughs> I'll use both. Depends on how I'm feeling. No, I'm pretty sure it's locale time. Oh. Oh, it is local time. I'm an idiot. Um... Eh, as long as I use that in the future, I should be fine, right? Fine, fine. Vim. <laughs> yeah, local time. I I did it. <laughs> Where am I at? I am... So, y'all want me to hit... Vim. No, I'm going to use Nano. I'll use Vim later. <laughs> I got to go into local gen. Lo local, 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 local gen. That's what it is, right? And then I got to uncomment English US. There we go. That's what I want, right? 
Yep, that's what I want. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, I see what happened here. Hold on, give me a sec. Let me resize this real quick. Oh, I know what's wrong. Yeah, whatever. Not that big of a deal. That's not what I meant. All right. Nano. Account. No, I don't need to add that. I really don't. Nano. Just got to do host name. Host name. No, et cetera. Host name. I am going to just make hostname FK for this. It's actually really bothering me that this is like this. I know what to do. There we go. All right, now you can see everything. And then I want to do the same, but hosts. All right, this is where if you're following along, you're gonna have to follow along. So 127.0.0.1. All right, calm down there. Local host, and then I need local host, and then I need 127.0.1.1. And okay, local domain. Okay, should be good there. I normally use Kitty for the terminal emulator. I'm open to other ones though, but Kitty has always done everything I need so. I'm not going to give anyone hope that I'll switch off of it. Alright, I should be good here. I think that's everything I need. Local host, local host, local domain. 0.0.1.1.1.1. Yeah, I should be good. And if you're wondering how to say you control X, Y, enter. Now I gotta set up password. But uh I'm just going to not tell you what my password is. You may have been able to hear it. It's li oh, oh. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Alright, I think oh. give me a second real quick. DHC PCD. Computer to work on the attached networks without trouble. Missing it. Yeah, I think this is something I just needed when I dual booted since I'm since the virtual box is already connected to the internet, right? Oh. This is also a beautiful thing. Oh, you can't see this. I mistake that every time. DHC PCD. DHCP. Give me that full list of features. Lamus terms runs on your machine and silently configures your computer to work on the attached networks without trouble and mostly without configuration. When is there going to be a live stream again? I have no idea. If you're, I would like to do it regularly, but at the same time, I don't know. 
like I said before, it's a little daunting sometimes to just go live. Which is just, uh, Alacrity, I've, yeah, I've, I think I just did some research on Alacrity and I didn't see why I would use it above Kitty. I don't know. It's written in Rust. That's why everyone likes it. <laughs> why is everyone rewriting everything that already exists but in Rust? But doesn't he have an Arch install in dual boot with his Windows? Yes, I do. But I am wanting to redo the entire thing. And I'm getting a, uh, a NAS server. So what I'm going to do is be able to use that as basically my backup for everything, as well as a central data, uh, 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 centralized data. So I'm gonna have Windows fully on one hard drive. And then I'm going to have Arch Linux fully on the other hard drive. So once I get that NAS server, I'm going to put everything on there. It's going to be a little sketchy, but I'm going to put everything on there. I'm going to basically reformat everything. And then I'm going to restore my Windows. And then I'll probably make my Arch Linux from scratch. So I need to see if it'll make more sense for me to create an image of my virtual machine and just be able to do that, uh, that I have to do research into that. I, I haven't done it before because of going from a virtual machine to a physical machine, I don't know. Or if I'm just doing this for like a test to remind myself how to install Arch Linux so I don't mess it up on a physical machine, as well as after this, we're gonna figure out how, like where to go beyond awesome WM. And this is exactly what we're doing here. Like you recommend Alacrity? I'll come and research Alacrity and see if I like that terminal emulator better than what I use. My CPU is Ryzen 3700X. I built this PC like a year ago. A year ago? Nah, I think I built it two years ago, but 2020, you know, is kind of like a weird year. So let's just not count that one. <laughs> is Go worth earning? I think so. If that's what you... If that's the type of work you want. Just join. What DEWM are you going with? Awesome. Awesome WM. And awesome that you just joined. <laughs> All right. Let's get back. And, and if you're wondering why I keep forgetting to go over to full screen, is because this is what I see. So I figured this is what y'all see too. But I have it so y'all can actual, actually see more of the virtual box. All right. So I set up password. Um, now set up first password. Oh yeah, DHCPCD. Can anybody guide me on that? I think I think I just needed that for connecting to the network when I was dual booting. But since I'm on a virtual machine, it's already connected to the network, so I should be good, right? I, I'm gonna move on, but please, uh, if you know about that, let me know. My memory sometimes serves me right, sometimes does not. All right, where are we at? We are at... Skipping over that, user add, I'm gonna add... Uh, I already used FK, I actually meant that for that. Whatever, I'll just add as forest password for me. Type, 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 type. And then uh I gotta throw in Pac-Man pseudo. Yes, I gotta throw in I already installed Vim, didn't I? Oh yeah, I got a user mod. User mod AG. So I can control everything basically. Video, audio, oh sorry. Wheel, audio, video, optical, storage. I think I should be good. That's what I normally do, and I've typically. Nah, I feel like I'm forgetting something there. Let me make sure. Let me make sure everything got added properly. Wait, did I not need to put my name? 
No, I think I did. All right, how y'all feel about this? Vice pseudo. I need to comment out wheel. Should be good. All, all is what I want, not no password all, right? Uh-uh, yeah, it should be good. Yep, added myself to wheel group and took that out. Uncommented. We're just gonna do it anyway. We're just gonna do it anyway. And then I want to uh, system control enable DHCP CD. Cool. Also, it's a force of habit for me to just clear things. It's probably not. So you can actually see what happened. All right, I need grub. That's something I need. Now I'm just jumping around in my notes. <laughs> I, right, I did that, did that, did that, did that. Grub, install, dev, and then SDA one, right? I'm gonna, no, just SDA, because I want it all, all across. Okay, grub, gotta make the config. Make config, oh. Boot, grub, grub.config. All right, should be good there. Also, oh. does any, you, you know how when you boot up and you have the grub menu and it says, all right, it'll auto go in five seconds. Do you know how to turn off that auto go in five seconds? How to turn off grub. Five second. How to remove menu or change timeout for selecting OS. Again, again, again. All right, y'all can see now. Um, let's see. Press Alt F2. Do I have to wait till I go to Grub? Can I just type something in? Timeout quiet equals false. Okay, let me actually read this. I could edit default grub. That actually may be easier. Do I have to, do I just open it? Do I wanna put grub timeout to zero? I don't want it to auto go. I want it to stay there until I pick. Do alt F4, yeah. Good one. <laughs> Can I just pull it up with Nano? So timeout is five. I could just make this false, right? Can I make this false? So there is no timeout? So minus one, so minus one, save and I gotta make config again. So I should, I got, true, I am root, but okay. Set it to zero, but I think negative one, so, cause I feel like zero, it'll just skip it and go immediately. I don't wanna skip it. I want to be able to look at grub for when I dual boot, I want it to pull up and it says, and it says Windows, it says Arch Linux, and then it says, I guess I'll have the swap, but basically I want, or, or, or the advanced settings, but I want Windows, 
Arch Linux. I want to sit there until I say I want to go there. I would be pissed if I did Alt F4. I'd have to just end my whole entire YouTube channel if I got caught by that trick. <laughs> All right, I'm getting told two different things. Zero means infinity. Negative one. A lot of people said negative one. Zero equals infinity. Wait, the same person is saying zero though, but more people are saying one. Can I do a poll? That would be really cool if I could do a poll. <laughs> and then we just gamble. <laughs> Whatever we want to do, let's just roll with it. But also, is this, y'all can see this, is this the, uh, is this what I want to do here? I want to remake config for my grub. Is that what I want to do? I'm going to do negative one for now. And then if it changes, then okay. But is this what I want to do with the re with the remaking the config? Or is there something else I need to do? Kev runs on Duncan. I think... Yeah, that's my mindset. I don't know if you're saying that definitively or if that's what you think is going to happen, but that's my mindset as well. I appreciate y'all's help. This is so much easier than just having Google. I mean, than just having DuckDuckGo. All right, so that's what I did. I did negative one. Hope that works. Hope it doesn't crash when I reboot. We'll see. And then, um, I did that. I did that. I should probably check mark these so I know what I did. I did the groups. Okay. I uncommented wheel. Grub, 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 and then regrubbed. And then I should be good. I want to exit out of Shroot. I want to shut down now. I don't know what will happen when this happens, so I'll just switch out here. Shut down now. I am using all those Google bots. <laughs> Hacking the system. How do you learn all this? I wouldn't even know what to Google. Well, I've already, I've done it before, but I don't, I obviously don't know everything. So once, if you've done something before, if you know a little bit, then you know enough to be dangerous. And that's how I feel about myself here. All right, so this is the one we just made. Don't want to mess with the set. Yeah, I gotta mess with the settings because I gotta. I gotta unmount this. Just remove that. All right, and I did this. I exited. I shut down. I did them. VM settings. Start login. Ping. Let's uh. Rest restart and see what happens i'm gonna do light dm why do you why you use chrome if you have brave would you look at that there's no timeout <laughs> that's pretty good i'm sorry i'm sorry uh where is he ahmad i'm sorry but zero i mean maybe i i think zero yeah, you don't see the grub menu with zero, so negative one is exactly what I wanted. Y'all are good. Y'all are good. Um. Nope, 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 nope. Arch Linux. And then, um, light DM? Or should I look into something else? Light DM? What did I, oh, crap, what was my login? I think it was this. All right, light DM. So I want to I want to make sure everything's still working properly. I'm still connected. Okay. Also, fun fact: it almost never snows in Virginia Beach, and it snowed here on Thursday. It's pretty cool. Thursday morning, it actually snowed for like seven hours, eight hours. We got like five inches, six inches of snow, something like that, at least in Southern Virginia Beach. Northern Virginia Beach supposedly only got like a dusting, but Southern, we got like a decent amount for us. Install Wayland. I'm not installing Wayland. <laughs> and I also don't remember how I came to that. Wayland versus, oh, I don't have autocomplete. 
compositor. Did you build a snowman? No, but it was perfect snowman snow because it just stuck together so well because it wasn't like, like even, it was snowing and it was sticking, but it, I think the temperature down was like 31 degrees. So it was kind of melting. Like I know that's freezing, right? But like it kind of fluctuated depending on where you were. So some of it was kind of melting. So you can make a real nice snowman. I'm not crying. <laughs> I almost pinned your message, but I, I'm not going to. <laughs> Have you ever tried Kotlin? Yeah. All right, so yeah, we will we will do X org Zorg. We will be doing that. Um, actually, that's what I want to do now before we go in any further. So let's do that. Do I have to pseudo? I think I have to pseudo, right? Xorg. Default. We're just going to do everything. Um. Now we're chilling. Hey chat. Honestly, Farsnay is one of two YouTube channels to recall the th thematic. Second one is food for dogs. No correlation with name, but oh, content is so great. Like really good. Love so much. Hey, I appreciate that. Have I ever tried brain F? I don't think so. One person disliked. All right. Well, we need to bump up the ratio so if you haven't liked the stream I'd appreciate the thumbs up thanks <laughs> yeah see what what have i been at i've been at like 220 concurrent viewers give or take and i would never get this over on twitch Two thirty one, two twenty one. I like to see the analytics for things like that. It's pretty cool. I know, I know, Brian. Why, why would he? Why would someone come in and do the dis? Oh no, I know who did the dislike. It's the dude that came in and said boring, and I timed him out. <laughs> That's gotta be him, right? Or if it's not, and you're still in the chat and you disliked it. Tell me, tell me so I can time you out too. <laughs> the power. <laughs> I saw your videos and took software engineering. It's going great. Good stuff. Where are you at? Are you in college? Are you just self-teaching? What? I'm in Virginia Beach, which neighbors Norfolk. In Richmond, I've been up to Richmond a lot. I actually was a, what is called a, sin I disliked. Oh no. You know what? If you actually did, I respect the fact that you came forward. I'm not going to time you out. I mean, you got to respect someone who doubles down, you know, who's true to themselves. If they dislike the stream, they're going to say, hey, I dislike the stream. <laughs> but, but for real, please don't dislike the stream. Please don't. Please don't. Don't, don't, don't troll me again. Like the alert thing. But Richmond, if, if that's, that's, our state capital that's where the general assembly is and i was actually a senate page up there in 2010. if you walk through the capitol building you can go and you see all these like uh flips where you can see the governor lieutenant governor you can see all the senators and all that stuff and then at the bottom there's all these uh all these senate pages look at 2010 and you'll see far tonight <laughs> how do you pronounce norfolk I feel like I've been saying it wrong. It's, it's Norfolk. It's not Norfolk. It's Norfolk. Some people say like Norfolk, or they literally say, uh, they, pron they pronounce it like it's a cuss word. <laughs> That's not, not trolling either. That's actually how some people pronounce it, but Norfolk. You say Norfolk. Yeah, that's not how it's pronounced. <laughs> I've been following your GitHub CS degree roadmap. Good stuff. Oh, Xorg is uh, 
It's done. All right. Do I need NVIDIA, NVIDIA LTS, NVIDIA LibGL, NVIDIA Utils, and MESA, and MESA uh, LibG, and... Well, I need VirtualBox Guest Utils, I know that. Do I need all the NVIDIA stuff? I think I do, don't I? Again, if you're wondering why I'm confused, some things I needed for physical machine Arch Linux and something, some of those things I wouldn't need on a virtual box. So I'm trying to remember, no, I don't need the Nvidia stuff. Okay. My GPU is Nvidia, but I'm also on a virtual box. So do I need it or don't I need it? And Mesa, I think Mesa is the AM AMD, right? So AM, I have AMD and I have NVIDIA on my PC build. Do I need all that stuff for VirtualBox? That's what I'm trying to figure out. NVIDIA LTS on VM? Arch? <laughs> all these keywords. Um, when attempting to install NVIDIA drivers, Someone will call him out if he's not supposed to, right? What? Half of y'all are saying I need it. Half of y'all are saying I don't need it. Yeah, this is for pass through. I do see that. ArchWiki is always right, but I, I can't always find it. ArchWiki NVIDIA. I know y'all can't see this. Will ArchWiki virtual? That's the only place that says virtual. So that's my only issue. VM. See, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm using, <laughs> I've already explained the whole VM thing, but uh, I'm doing it on a VM instead of physical. One, to get used to it again. And two, because y'all wouldn't be able to be watching me if I was doing it physical. No, I don't have two, GPU, G, two GPUs in my machine. I only have one. All right, I'm going to not do NVIDIA. I'm going to do just the guess utils. Pseudo. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Pseudo. Yeah, I don't feel like typing all that in again. Um, not light DM yet. All right, so virtual box guess utils. Guess utils always trick me, and I don't know why. Guess you like I feel like they never work for me. Also, I used to install VirtualBox Guest Modules Arch, but they took that out, right? Do they replace it with something? Do I need Mesa though? Crap. So I need Mesa, yes. Mesa, Mesa, Lib, GL. Anywhere. Yeah, I think I need all the mess of stuff. I mean, AMD. Let's tomato, tomato, potato. Should be good there. Come on. And then, um, now we're on to. Yeah. So I, yeah, I, I had the uh, XF, the the video VMware. Appreciate that, Kev. Oh, live. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're just hanging out on a Saturday. Today, Saturday. Today is Saturday. So light DM. Whoa. 
Nah, my Wi-Fi speed is not a gigabit because I I live out in the boonies. But I do think it's like 100. I think it's 100. 130. 100 download, 30, 30 upload, I think. Isn't that, how, isn't that how it works? Or is it 10 upload? I used to have 330. I felt like I downgraded it because I didn't need that. Good grief. Not into programming, but much love. Hey, that's a, that's cool. <laughs> I appreciate you stopping by. Bro, can you suggest best Python tutorials for a beginner on YouTube? I don't know what they have on YouTube. That's actually my exact, that's actually my exact command. Light DM, light DM, GTK greeter, light DM, GTK greeter settings. Light DM versus GDM. Yeah, we're going with light DM. Forget it. I don't know. I think I did extensive research on what DM and I, I chose light for a reason. So let's do it. Light DM, light DM, GTK greeter and light DM, GTK greeter settings, right? And then I've just got to enable it. Yeah, I like to have the DM. Any side project ideas? Trying to think of some good ones to put in my portfolio this year. I don't know. How about you build a, web, a, a portfolio website? But then again, you need projects to put in your portfolio but your website of your portfolio will be one of your projects to put in your portfolio. Big brain, big brain. It just depends on what you want to do. You want to be a game developer, then build a game. You want to be build web apps and build a web app. You know what I mean? And I say this all the time, but if there's a company that you know you want to work for, see what they build, see what languages, what frameworks they use, and you'll be able to hop right in without skipping a beat because you've already built one, two, three programs that exactly how they build it. So that's always my advice. What do we, so I got a system control enable light DM. Allow me to go back to VirtualBox. I need a better system. Oh, okay. Clear. I'm clearing this. And then, uh, it's time for, it's time for everything else. So, pseudo Pac-Man S. We have awesome. Going with awesome. We have kitty. I like kitty. We have vicious kitty. No, it's just vicious. Vicious, Rofi, eh, and Firefox. Just because those are easy to install. Is there anything that you disagree with? You agree with everything? Don't know, don't care. What music is that? This is called Stream Beats by Harris Heller, who's also known as Alpha Gaming on YouTube. He actually put together this whole entire stream beats. It's just a playlist on Spotify. Well, on a bunch of different platforms where it's copyright free. And it doesn't sound like that like super dubstep stuff. This is the lo-fi. I think he does have like an EDM version, but this is the lo-fi. <laughs> just chilling. I already have Vim. I already have Vim. Neo Vim is awesome. Right now, I just want to focus on. Uh, uh, might as well add code in there, right? Code, code is code's VS Code, right? I mean, that is the proper. Pac-Man. Code. That's not what I wanted. Pac-Man. How do I Pac-Man VS Code? No, that's not going to bring up what I want. 
Um, I like VS Code. <laughs> code is code is it's not VS Code. It's it's like the open source. It, it's it's the OSS, which is what VS Code has been on top of, but. Code is not an official repo. OSS code. Oh, y'all can't see this. Code OSS is open source project. Without any proprietary code, Visual Studio Code is distribution of code OSS. Code versus VS Code. Answer, code is open source. Visual code distribution. That's exactly what I read. Any other differences? This is why I'm unproductive sometimes. Sometimes. Because I just get distracted because I want to know everything. Everything that goes into it. I know, I know that. All right, we're going to put that on the back burner. You say Rofi versus... You say D-Menu is better. I love hearing people's comparisons, so you'll notice I do versus a lot. <laughs> Rofi is more useful out of the box. Basically, it's equivalent of every D menu patch and more. It's easy to configure. Oh, this person likes Rofi over D menu. Uh oh. Um, Arch, Linux, Brave. Yeah. I like to have multiple, so. And there you are. Don't listen. You don't need Rofi. Yep, D menu is much better. Okay, so it's just it's just regular. I'll add Brave in here. Wait, let me take out code because uproar. I do I I know like Vim is Vim, vim, vim. But I love to have like a good text editor IDE for a lot of my development. I, I, I'll use vim for making adjustments, but for a whole entire development cycle, I, I like using VS Code or Eclipse. Well, I'd use IntelliJ here in the future if I hop back into Java stuff. What are we doing? Setting up Arch Linux on a virtual machine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Arch Linux for development is great. That's what I used all last year. My specific plans for the VM is to take the image and put it on a virtual machine. Why do you choose Arch? I just like customization. All right, okay. We're not adding anything else to this, okay? We're not adding anything else. The only thing that I want to discuss is Vicious, Rofi, and Fe. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do the Brave Bin package. Brave package will compile the whole source. Yeah, I'll do the Brave Bin. IntelliJ and Arch Linux? Uh, I think so yeah I've never used it but I can you not you can use another Linux I've seen plenty of people use another Linux distros Fe. that's not what I wanted a fast and light image viewer Yeah, so, yeah, IntelliJ on Arch. Good. You just have to do the... You have to do the community edition? Is that true? Can someone fact check? All right. 
actually, this is also a problem with me using y'all as Google because I'm getting so many different like opinions and potential answers and stuff like that, that I just don't know if I should go with Rofi or D-Menu. ArchWiki. Dynamic menu for X, image arbitrary. Also, how quiet is that music? Is it too quiet, just right? Just do both? <laughs> no. I like simplified. The only thing I'll do both of is like a web browser or even a text editor or whatever. You think Rofi's bloated? I never experienced any particular but then again, I haven't used D-Menu, so I don't really have it to compare it to. Let's see what the folks of Reddit have to say. D-Menu, Reddit. Oh, well, this is going to be biased. Let me look at something that's a little bit more... This is literally nothing that I wanted to... That's literally nothing that I wanted to read. Okay, forget that. Jack Davidson, tell me your D menu build. Rofi's easier to customize works out the box. Hey. All right. Executive decision. I'm just going to use Rofi. I apologize. I can always just like remove it and then go with uh, D menu if I really want to, but I kind of want to just move on. All right. So we just, we already had, we did light DM and all that we need with light DM. We just did awesome kitty, vicious, Rofi, and Firefox. And then I'm going to, for some reason I have SYY here. SYY versus SYU. Why do I have SYY? It, it knows what I mean. Why do I have SYY instead of SYU? I think it's a simple. I think U is really to update everything in case you get a new rollout or something. It don't matter. Whatever. Pseudo Pac-Man. SYY. SYY is force ref re refresh. So maybe I shouldn't. I don't even know why I have it in here, to be honest with you. Whatever. Everything's up to date. That's just what I figured would happen. Since I just installed it, so... Okay, well that's all the notes I have, so we're just winging it from here on out. Let's, uh... Let's reboot, I guess? Oh, please stop. There we go. I had a pop-up that y'all did not see. All right, here we go. And we have awesome. All right, what I really want, I always have trouble with the guest utils. So, can someone help me with this? I literally always have trouble with guest utils. Doesn't matter what I install. Actually, let me um, let me put you on the other screen so you can see what I'm talking about. So, view, virtual screen. I want to auto resize guest display. That's really ultimately what I want to do. But virtual screen, I also don't have any option except for 800 by 600. I'm not I, scale. That's not the answer. So I want to resize. I want to auto resize, but I also at least want to resize. 
X Rand R. That's right. So do I want to go back to? Will this open terminal? I also remember having troubles with just opening a terminal. Let's just go to F1. Yeah, it's F1. We're just going to do X Rand. Yeah, I guess you just is always a pain. Oh, was it F2? Can I please? Please? Alright, we're gonna sit here for a second. Control Alt F1 is what I typed. Um. F2. It is F2. That's my login. Oh, no, it's not. This is my login. What did I say? Oh, XRAN. So I got to install XRAN, right? Guess we'll find out. Can't open display. Is that because I should not be in here? That is because I shouldn't be in here, isn't it? This, oh, F1 is actually where it should re. No, I want to go back to here. All right. Control all. All of the numbers and one should take you back. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's supposed to be F1. This is supposed to load and then bring me back, but it's not. Unless I'm going crazy. I'm just going to power off. Alt F7. All right, so when are run kitty? Y'all can't see my mouse, but it is currently loading. If you love my videos, I appreciate that. I love you watching my videos. Are you going to stream on YouTube from now on or on Twitch? I see. I don't. I don't know how many people, how many of y'all would want to go over onto Twitch, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm very, uh, I've been thinking about that a lot. I just don't, I just don't know. See, what is my problem here? Kitty. Maybe we just say screw kitty, right? Look, run kitty, right? It's just not working. All right, Brian, I appreciate you stopping by. I just packed me an S kitty. That's how I installed it. You think I should just go back into, uh, into the default Arch Linux and 
do something from there. Is that is that where I ought to do the V box service? Am I able to do the <clears throat> V box service here? System control. If VBox service is already installed, enable VBox service. Should be as part. So created it. And then I should reboot. No, nah, shut down. So it goes full new. Shut down now. All right. And let's start back up and see. Uh, view, auto resize. Hey, hey, looks like, hello there, buddy. View, auto resize. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Can y'all, y'all should be able to see this. Y'all can't see this. Now y'all should be able to see this. <laughs> Good stuff, appreciate it. All right, so now we have awesome. However, we are unable to run kitty why why can't i run kitty All right, so terminal emulator GNOME console. Is there one that's like I heard console? Alacrity, someone recommended that, but I don't know. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. What do y'all think? This isn't all of them, though. Or is this just terminal? All right. Alacrity it is. So, uh, what would I have to go back to this? <laughs> I hope. Because I already did. Um, Pseudo Pac-Man. Alacrity. Yes. And please reload. All right, so why isn't that working? Control Alt F1. Supposed to take me back to awesome, is it not? Yeah, virtual machine. Setting up Arch Linux virtual machine now. We set up Arch Linux and we're just messing around within awesome. Uh, well, right now we're trying to get everything to work properly. But then once we get everything working properly, then we'll see what we can where we can go from there. Let's have something over here real quick.
What do I have to do in here? That's, that's just an example. Or someone trolling me. to kill all Xord? Is that right? Nope, nope. Please stop. Allow me. Um, I, I don't know. I'll probably make the... In all honesty, I may make this stream private. I may make it unlisted, so if anyone saves the URL, you'll be able to watch it, but I don't know yet. Well, just save... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Does my hair look funny? Why am I using Windows? So, I've always wanted to get away from Windows just because, just to consolidate things. I have this computer dual booted with Arch Linux. However, I can never get Adobe Creative Suite to work on Linux how I want. No matter if, you, if I try Wine, it doesn't matter what I do. I just can't get it to work like I need it to. So, I'm stuck with Windows until something works out. That's right. Adobe programs don't run on Linux. I've tried. I've tried. <laughs> you did not just answer the question of why are you using Windows with because he doesn't have doors in his home. You did not just say that. <laughs> Turn up mic volume? I don't know. People have been cool with it. I know when I get like this, like it's harder to hear, but right here. DaVinci Resolve, but here's, here's my problem with the whole Adobe thing. I use Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Media Encoder, Adobe After Effects sometimes. And I feel like there's a couple more. Sometimes Adobe XD. So like I would have to f find individual solutions to every single one of those. Whereas da DaVinci Resolve is just to one, which I heard great things about it. Don't get me wrong, but that's just a solution to Premiere. And also it doesn't work all, all like, you know, Adobe is just like this. Adobe Illustrator sometimes as well. Yeah. I've used GIMP in the past before I ever tried Photoshop, but like I said, I'd have to, f there's no point in me hopping off of one, like, like from Photoshop to GIMP, that's, that's a replacement, right? From Photoshop to GIMP, if like I have no replacement for everything else and if everything else is just so separate, like I said before, I like things consolidated. If everything could be in one little hub, that, that's, that's what I like. Why not just dual boot? It is dual booted. It's just going back and forth. Sometimes, like I do, Arch Linux is my development environment, right? So Arch Linux is my development environment. Whereas Windows is, I guess I do play video games on Windows, to, to be frank. And then um, Adobe. So like video editing, everything I just listed. And then I have basically, like I'm getting the NAS server, so that'll centralize all the data, which would be nice. NAS server, NAS server, NAS server. And uh, 
right now I basically just have one hard disk drive, I think I think it is, as a central, as basically my centralized data within my PC. So what I will do, and it's not very fast, so what I have to do, my process right now is, when I do any development for any video, this was really a problem when I was doing a lot more development, but development for any video, I will have to do it on Arch Linux. And I record that. I have OBS and everything set up over there. And then I will make sure I save it onto that shared hard drive. But that hard drive is slow. So I have to hop on over to Windows 10 and pull everything from that hard drive onto my fast hard drive. Because I notice the difference between pulling the footage from a, uh, from a disk drive rather than being on my local drive, which is an NVMe, right? And then if I forget anything, then I have to reboot and go all the way back over to Arch Linux and re-record something, whether it be for the code or, right? And then I have to do the same thing and go all the way back, and then I have to edit on Windows 10, and it's just kind of a hassle. I wish everything was just on Arch Linux. And plus, also coding on Windows is one of my least favorite things ever. Because I use a lot of, I don't care, I don't care if you have Bash installed or anything like that, like, I just wanted to go straight Unix. That's, that's, that's what I like. Get two PCs easy. Someone actually recommended that. But basically, I'm basically not going to have two PCs. <laughs> that would be sick. Have two PCs running. I do one. Saves over there. I'm on the other. Video editing. Oh, let me just hop right over here. Actually, I don't even need a hop. I can do KVM switches. Is that what it's called? KVM switches? I can use the same keyboard and mouse for that. That would be sick. But yeah, I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to have two PCs anytime soon. So the... I kind of found a, uh, a workaround. Well, dedicated storage partition on my system. That's that's why I'm getting the NAS server. That's going to serve as that. To centralize the data and, and hopefully with with what it what that entails, I shouldn't have to pull the uh, uh, videos and stuff onto my other hard drive. I can just keep it all there and it should work proper nope I haven't tried WSL everyone keeps saying WSL WSL it's WSL 2 now right Windows subsystem for Linux so how does this work Top five YouTube channels, uh, it just changes. And I watch so many different like types of creators that I don't necessarily have a top five off the top of my head. Hmm. Yeah, Windows Terminal, I have messed with that, but it's still, I know y'all can't see my screen, but Windows Terminal. That's what it's called, right? Open source. Preview. So to preview. And don't get me wrong, I don't plan on changing my idea. I think my, my whole idea is to get off of Windows, but I can't. I only watch Forest. <laughs> I know, I know, command, I know. I just want to see... I just want to see how they show it. At least they have the slashes going in the right direction here. However, here... Look at that. Ugh backslash backslash or is that forward slash it's it's the wrong way is what i'm saying <laughs> 
Stinky slash. Bad slash is what it is. You can change that. Well, that's nice, but... Uh, I don't know. Where are we at in... Where are we at over here, by the way? Oh, yeah. I couldn't get Kitty to work, right? Also, I can't get it to go back. Control Alt F1. Control Alt F1 Arch Linux. Do I need to use a super key or something? No, that's not actually my problem. Well, but that's not my problem. Everything else works. I know, I know restart it, but like, that's just kind of annoying, right? Like, I should be able to switch back and forth. Oh, my stomach's growling. Alright, so this is where we're at. Open terminal. Not opening. Get out of here. Running. Kitty. It'll load, but it won't work. We're going to make sure everything doesn't work this go around and then go from there. I need like a, I need, I need some of those like commands. I don't know if they have commands on YouTube live like they do in Twitch, but like command arch or something like that. So when people ask like, oh, something, something, something about Arch. Am I going to main Arch now? Ye yes. I've been dual booting Windows 10 and Arch for about a year. Maybe a little bit under a year. And what I'm doing now is just making the VM. And making Arch on here. So I can either take the image from the VM and install it a as a physical install or just as a trial run to see what I want on here. But I want to talk with y'all about what y'all prefer in terms of like compositors and file managers and stuff like that. But I can't get Kitty to work. Oh wait, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Didn't I do Alacrity? Didn't I do that? Dual booting is a pain, but I've always experienced lag in a virtual machine. I've always experienced lag, not for everything I do, but for something that I do. In a virtual machine, I always experience some sort of lag. And that's the, that's the reason why I had to go with a dual boot. Is that when people are gonna talk about like the WSL thing? Wait. Alicrity's not working either. There has to be something else. Someone said something about kill all Xorg and then start X. Is that a viable option or is that like sketchy? Why? Arch. I don't know if that'll bring up anything. I don't know. Why, why does that work? A 
that's not what I wanted. I haven't used to use default awesome in about a year. I changed up a lot of things, so let's see if we can't get back to No, I don't want I don't What I do? I don't want this. <laughs> I don't want it to flip. One sec. I don't have two computers. Well, I have a laptop and a desktop, but like, you know. Everything I'm doing right now is on my desktop. I'm not using my laptop at all at this moment. So with this, I can, how do I open terminal? Super P? No, that's how I select that. Super enter. Maybe not. Super enter. Whatever, I tried. Let's go with kitty and let's go with yeah, super inner was supposed to work, but but it didn't. So what are we thinking for compositor? Actually, what are, this is what I want to do: Firefox. This is how I do this, right? Oh, that's bothersome right there. Why is that off? I mean, I see why it's off, but that's annoying. <laughs> All right, so. Arch Compositor. This is what I had on the other one, Pycomb, but it was like Pycomb Try One, or it's, I don't know how you, how you pronounce it. Try One? Don't say Wayland. What's pain? What's pain? I'm talking about this? I'm talking about this? <laughs> also, I feel speaking of things, making them fit properly. Let me. Gosh, that's so much better right there. dog we're probably getting a package delivered hmm pycomb i don't even know if that's how you pronounce it but whatever compositing support from compton so i should probably say like for awesome what does this Reddit user have to say from back in 2016? Compton all the way. Zero tearing when enabled. Easy to configure. Let me show y'all what I used. Yes. I think this is what I use. But uh, I don't, I want very simple for now. I'm not saying this isn't simple, but it's like, I won't buy the book. But then again, it was so nice. 
Yeah, the blur. I love the blur. But at the same time, I almost am tired of the blur. I almost, that, like, I don't know. Having the ability to do it is nice. I Like, because you can easily just enable or disable it. Pycom is a new Compton. Did they just fork from it and then oh yeah, because Compton is no longer supported. Is that how it worked or did they just change the name? How'd it work? Yeah, blur looks nice, but I one, it's it's bloat. I mean, if you want something, it's not truly bloat, but it makes things a little heavier. But it's not that big of a deal. But again, I'm almost not feeling I think if I just get everything in the right theme, and I'm thinking I wanna go with like I really like this horizon theme from for VS code. Can I like So like look at this horizon theme for VS code. I almost want to use this color for everything. <laughs> Like, I love this. I don't know. I just kind of like this. It's, like, kind of warm. And if I could just customize everything to look like that, I think I'd be happy. So, in other words, I don't want the blur. I think. A lightweight compositor for X11. Previously a Compton for previously. What do you mean previously? Oh, I see. Um, so what, what, what do we think here? Maybe just a standard pie comb. Is this the official? Right here. But this, I, I understand it's the Git, but. Pot, pie, come. Arch. A standalone compositor. Installation. Should I go with the Git? Arch and VM, yes. Should I go with the Git? Or can I just, I could just do it Pac-Man, right? Thank you, standard. Mm-hmm. Both are stable. Yeah, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, sick. Um... I disabled like all of these options for me. I forget what the, uh, oh, come on, come on. Where are we at? I forget what the standard, uh, all these standard ones. Cause I had most of these disabled on mine. Crap. Now where's my stuff? Run Rofi? Is that how that works? You just calculated everything from CS path. Take three years to finish everything. I don't, I'm not sure you had to do that. I think. Do 
didn't I do that in my original video of the open source computer science degree? I may not have. But no, I did. Oh no, maybe I just gave it time, time, the amount of time for each class. Hardcore user, <laughs> hardly. <laughs> I'm just gonna run Firefox. Oh, I have my Firefox. All right. No, I. This is so ugly. All right. This is actually also ugly. Pac-Man. The deed is done. Join the no mouse movement. I know. I gotta. I gotta get back to just not using my mouse. I would love to know Pac-Man trick. All right, where are we at? Which chair do you use? The autonomous ergo chair two. What game am I excited for? I don't know. I don't know what games are being released this year. Typically when I game, it's, it's far and few between, but I either just hop on Overwatch by myself because I have no PC Overwatch friends. I will hop on... Some of my friends still like to play Fortnite. I don't like to play it that much. Warzone, because it's free and fun. But more often than not, I just play chess online. <laughs> I don't know what that does. Oh wait, that removes a bunch of stuff. Dusk? Dusk, game. Dusk on Steam. This one right here. Retro styled first person shooter created by American developer David. And published. Is it fun? Pycom is the compositor. So, something I actually want to show you, speaking of video games, is this. I don't, I've never played this video game. However, I don't want to close. Maximize. Maximize. Um, this. Tell me how nice this website is. So, you see all the different layers of mountains, right? How nice is that? Isn't that nice? It's like actually changing perspective. I don't know. Thought it was nice. <laughs> you started playing online chess again after watching Queen's Gambit. Good stuff. I started I started back in like the Twitch chess boom, which was uh it was, it was actually the first time I ever played chess online. I played some chess a little bit, not much when I was younger, but that was the beginning. That was like March 2020, give or take. Something like that. GM Hikaru, that's right. That's that's who I watched. 
I still watch him quite a bit. But I, tr I can't watch him all the time because when I watch him, I'm like, huh. Instead of working, how about I just go play chess? However, if I put like Tim the Tet Man up and he's playing Warzone, I, I'm not that inclined to play Warzone. But the chess is just so like easy to open it up and just let's start playing. All right. Um, I'm actually gonna leave this how it is. Bop. I am going to. Everything should be good. I'm going to actually save this command that you left me. I get trolled all the time, so I don't want to mess nothing up. <laughs> I get people attempt to troll me all the time. Let me say that. So I'm actually going to save this command, do some research on it, and then probably use it if it says what you uh, uh, say it does. But I'm going to shut down now. And... We can chill. <laughs> Which command? The command that Anakit Kumar left. You'll see it a couple up. Um, Pac-Man, it, it removes stuff. He said it removes everything except the base. Best way to reset. I'll keep it in case I ever need to use it. After I do the research on it to make sure it does what you say it does. <laughs> I want to make a website for me as a portfolio. How do you recommend I should start? What's the portfolio for? Is it for like websites? Probably not since you're asking me where to start with the portfolio. That's one thing. You can make the portfolio website, but if that portfolio website is the only thing part of your portfolio, then like, you see how that's kind of odd? Whereas what you ought to do is get two, three, four projects under your belt and then make the portfolio website. If you already have that, so you already have projects, figure out how you want to make that website. You can make something very simple. You can make something very simple and just like HTML, CSS type stuff and, and you can link to your projects if they're on the web. You can link to your projects that are on GitHub, but you just have a few, a few pictures that show let me see if I, let me see something real quick. Yeah. I'm not sure what the URL is actually. I remember I used to have like an iOS development portfolio website, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that still is. Uh, maybe it's probably not still up, but if it was, Let me see, let me see. Oh. No, that ain't right. I'm gonna test it. I know y'all can't see this, by the way. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. So, <laughs> this is what I had <laughs> back. This is, I think this is actually like a template that I made adjusted me i don't remember but like it's literally just hi i'm forest knight i'm ios developer and designer i'm not anymore but and then uh had my email had all my links to stuff this may be to like my personal instagram not my actual business business instagram my youtube one resume i had all my resume stuff see this was back when i was still in school but you could just have something like this where it has my work education you can download the resume, you can get in touch. I'm not sure if all these buttons work because they never replied anywhere. And then coding skills. This is when I was better at Swift than Java. <laughs> but then all that stuff and then portfolio. This is where, see I had like weather at Poke, Pokemon. This was during Pokemon Go craze and stuff like that. And then you can add pictures behind there and then contact in order to contact there and you should be good. But that's, that's something I had. <laughs> Oh, you can't see my browser. I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> let me go back. I do this first night dot github dot io. So now let's go back. This is the website here. <laughs> so you can see kind of this is just like the home. Hey, look, that's me. And then resume. And then you can see all of the resume stuff, work experience, testimonials, which 
obviously I didn't have any. I didn't finish the whole thing, okay? And then uh, download resume, get in touch, ed education, and then skills. You can see the skills here. Portfolio. This is where like I had all these. I know I'm repeating myself, but got to add to it since y'all didn't see it before. And I was going to add a link to this. I'm not sure if it. I'm not sure if there's an actual link. No. See, I was instead of pulling up the picture, I was going to make it a link to my GitHub for where that was, and then contact. I don't still do iOS development. Uh, I what I realized when I was in school is I was doing like re I was considering moving away from where I currently am, and then I decided not to. So I decided to start looking around uh, for jobs around here. Turns out, not a lot of iOS development jobs around here. Everything was really Java, or, or something along those lines. There's a lot of government contracting jobs where you need. Security clearance. <laughs> and then there's, uh, I mean, I didn't work, I, I worked, I didn't work at a government contract job, but my big job, my big boy job was, uh, I was building web apps for Norfolk Southern, a contract for Norfolk Southern. You just joined in? Well, I should probably change the title because we are no longer doing, we already did the uh, Linux, Arch Linux VM setup. Not very quickly, by the way, because we're just chilling. But uh, what is Tranquil? Did I show something about Tranquil? Or are you asking based on like my last video? Tranquil is... Let me pull this off real quick. This is... Well, I'm going to pull it off later. But this is Tranquil. It's a business my buddy and I started, an outdoors company. We're starting off with like just outdoors graphic tees, kind of like this. This is not ours, but kind of like this or something like that. And then we want to get into to more practical items. But you know, you got to start somewhere, basically raising the funds and whatnot. And opening soon, which maybe next week. Got to enter the password. Um. Okay, and this is Tranquil. I think we still have a few things to do. That looks blown out. I need to readjust that. But this is Tranquil. Shout Tranquil. We have hunting, fishing, farm life, t-shirt month. Uh, the charity that we decided to donate to. Yeah, that's spelled right. And uh designs we'll go to all designs right now it's just chickens because it's with me my buddy my wife and his fiance and it's just a fun little brand that we decided to start mallard ducks that's our logo you have the uh the white tailed deer it's very big because of how i have my screen resolution right now but you know all that type of stuff that's what Tranquil is. You love it? I'm glad you love it. Because it's not like it's not like my audience crosses over, but there may be some people who cross over. You know what I mean? Like me, I'm I if 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 I was like everyone else, I should be working blue collar. But for some reason I got interested in computer science and just in computers and programming, so I decided to go that route. But there's still always the that side of me that I that I love. I should get in touch with Duck Dynasty guys. I know, that would be sick. <laughs> I need to grow my beard back out so I can fit in. <laughs> terminal emulators, what's that for? For emulating a terminal? Why is my camera off? There we go. Mmm. I missed the conversation here. Mogul Boom said, My main problem is that 
as an enterprise dev, you have no open track record except for your past employers. And then everyone's on Duncan. It's so annoying to have all your nice code be private. And he's like, no, nah, I mean, I'm coding real cool stuff at work, but I can't show it to potential employers. I think that's what Kev was saying. That's crazy. That's, I mean, that's just kind of how it is, especially if you work on a contract stuff. Some, some places, which I feel like would be really cool if you worked at a job where you worked on open source software. Like that would just be sick. You came, I came up on suggestion page. That's cool. I'm happy to have you here. I, uh, we just put together a Arch Linux virtual machine just because I have been using Arch Linux for a little while, but I want to redo it. And my best way to redo it is in a virtual machine. So I don't really mess up everything on my physical machine right now. And I just decided, Hey, I'm going to put it together. So why not go live? Wait, there's such thing as working under open source? Yeah, I mean, Red Hat is is one. I mean, let's see. Red Hat is literally all open source and there are plenty of, like they own a bunch of stuff. I don't know what people think of Red Hat one way or another. I've heard some people be like, no, never use Red Hat. But then there's, I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so they, they have developers work for them and they they work on open source stuff. What, what age did I start programming? I think I was like 18, 18, 19, 25 now. I, I didn't really start until I was like getting into my computer science degree. I like this format of streaming. I appreciate that. Uh, I've always wanted to stream, but it's a bit daunting to just go live and put yourself out there like that. So I've always considered doing it on Twitch so there's less viewers, but at the same time, it's nice to have a couple hundred of y'all in here. <laughs> how should you start, how should I start prepping for CS degree? I love coding, but I'm not good at learning languages on my own. I'll learn Python three through my school and feel pretty proficient, but I want to learn C++. Well, forget what language you want to learn the best way to prep for a CS degree is learn the language that they will teach you. There's a lot more to CS than just programming languages, but you're going to be programming a lot. And if they teach C++, then learn C++. If they teach Python or Java, then learn those. For college, your grade 10. Oh, that's the same person. Is there a way besides tech? I mean, you can actually go on. Let me see something real quick. So I went to ODU, ODU CS. So I, th this 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 is where I went. Um, CS 330. What is that? So you can actually come into a lot of these and you can look and read through basically everything. You can't. Ha I don't think you can have access to some of like the projects or any of the projects, but course they, they go over the course prerequisites for this particular class. You, you should obviously look at the intro ones, but here you can see like problem solving, programming two, like that's all you need to learn here before you before you come into here. And then are these still prerequisites? Yeah. Assignments? Yeah. No, I don't want to be on the syllabus actually. I want to be on, I probably want to be on latest, right? So here you can actually go through everything that is taught in the class, as long as it's all public still. So that's all orientation stuff. This is lecture notes, designing for ADTs. You can actually read through what I was taught in school and other colleges are like this as well. Other colleges have videos on some of their courses. There's a Harvard 50 CS 50 course. There's a UV, UVA has a computer science course on video and you can just kind of read through and it may not all make sense, but it's a place to start. Why are you so sad, dear friend? Is it because you have less viewers? I'm not sad. <laughs> Your setup has improved. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get into the groove of things, you know, regardless of, because my one thing is I never wanted to hit, hit go live because I was never prepared. So I took that barrier out the way. So now I, I'm mostly prepared. So the only reason I wouldn't go live is because I don't want to go live. So now it's either I either want to or I don't, and that's that. 
At what age do you start programming? 18, 19 years old. I, yeah. What are your favorite IDE plugins? Have you tried Tab9 before? I haven't tried Tab9 in... Eh. It just depends. Most of my work I actually did in VS... No, I did a lot in Eclipse as well, actually. I don't even... What plugins did I use for Eclipse? I know I had a lot installed. But I can't remember what they are. I should go back and look. I haven't done Java work in longer. I mean, I did some of the, like the machine learning in Java, right? But I haven't done Java work in a while. Like the real true Java work that I used to do. I, I use VS code. I use VS code for front end work. PyCharm's sick. Cause PyCharm's under uh, uh idea, right? IntelliJ or is Int IntelliJ idea, idea. So that's for JetBrains. JetBrains is the, what I was looking for. Developer tools, PyCharm, yeah. See, they have good stuff. They really do, especially if you're a student because you can get it for free. Trash Eclipse, use idea. Eclipse isn't trash. I mean, I understand why people like IntelliJ better, but Eclipse definitely isn't trash. Oh yeah, IntelliJ community is free, that's true. However, there's always that mindset where if if, if a company makes something that you really like, maybe it's worth you giving them a little bit of money because of how much work they put into it if you're using it for free, you know what I mean? Because I, I actually said that same thing, I'm like, I'm. Technically still under like the student email stuff and I can get IntelliJ for free and that's exactly what My uh, senior dev told me he's like, well No, we'd rather I mean the company would pay for it mind you, but, but I was trying to save them money. They said no if uh, We actually really like it. So might as well spend the money to show them that like hey appreciate what you're doing here Yeah, VS code is really nice I really do like VS Code. Smart decision to take AI. I think it sounds interesting at least. Whatever your, wherever your interest takes you. I mean, that's really the answer. All right, question. Is VS Code a text editor or an IDE? I wish I could do a poll. That would be really cool. IDE, text editor, text editor. I did just ask. <laughs> Can be IDE if correct plugins. <laughs> Minimal IDE, I like that one. I like that answer, that's a good one. ID has terminal, VS Code has terminal. So is that your way of saying it is an ID? For Python though? Who said is also good for Python? Oh, Sublime Text is also good for Python, though. Oh. I feel like I've used Sublime in the, in the past, and if I were to go, like, I like VS Code, but for other, I, I, I use Atom over Sublime Text. Where do you think AI is going in the future? Do we need to slow down before we destroy ourselves? 
Only the future will tell. You have one, you have some really smart people saying it's not that much to worry about. Then you have other really smart people saying we really got to worry about this. So which smart people do you listen to? Is VS Code just Adam on steroids? I don't know. I just use Vim. Yeah. <laughs> I knew there was going to be one. <laughs> Vim's nice. Yeah, that's true. If I were to just do simple, like, text edits, it's nice to open Vim. And just do whatever. Or Nano. Do you use Vim? I use... That's what I use Vim for. Like, when I develop software, like, I want... I want IDE text editor. Well, you know what I mean. I want, like... Or VS Code text editor. I think it's technically a text editor, by the way. But regardless, I want like integrated development environment. That's what I want when I'm developing stuff. Node, Notepad++. Plus plus. Yo, what if I deleted the comment that you said, nah, I'm kidding, so everyone thinks that you just use Notepad++. Plus plus. <laughs> you, use, you use Doom Emacs? I've heard, I've heard about that. I've heard some people like that. You like that better than just regular Emacs? Okay, question. Emacs or Vim? Have fun. <laughs> Microsoft Word, for sure. <laughs> Vim, NeoVim. Vim, 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 yeah. Not. Always Vim. Doom Emacs. Doom Emacs is just Emacs with Vim keybinds? Yeah, I remember when I first got introduced to like Emacs. I got introduced to e Emacs before Vim, I think, in school. And I'm like, I don't like this. Because I think it's something that you don't like until you know how to use it. Which, I mean, that's kind of obvious. But it never caught my interest until I, I actually understood how to use it. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. But then I'm like, eh, forget this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Vim. I think it was Emacs. Use, yeah, Vim plugins. I, I used Vim for VS Code for a while, but then I'm like, eh. Space Vim. Interesting. I'm going to change the title here. Eh, no. Oh, you probably saw Tranquil from my description. Okay, that makes sense. I just saw that. I, I forgot I had that in my description. <laughs> Jupyter Notebooks? Good. I don't need them because I don't do like data science work, right? Is that, isn't that mainly what it's for? Oh. Source software open center. Oh, it's for... Okay, I understand. Yeah. I don't really use it much, but that's who I hear using it. Is Arch good for developing? I mean, I like it. I think just any Linux distro is good for coding because Unix. Vim versus Big Macs, like McDonald's? I don't see why it's an either or. There, you just eat the Big Mac. Oh, you're on Vim. You can eat the Big Mac 
because you only need to use one hand with Vim. Gosh, genius. Bash or Zish? I've always used Zish. Oh my Zish. Or oh my fish. Oh my fish. Oh my fish. The fish shell framework. Oh my fish provides core infrastructure to allow you to install packages which extend or modify the look of your shell. It's fast, extensible, and easy to use. T-shirt? T-shirt. What about T-shirt? Is Java used in AI? If yes, what tools? Nah, not typically. I mean, I did my AI work in Java just because that's what I knew, but well people normally use like python right there's a, there's also a oh there's one other i i literally have so i understand like ai is it can be broad but uh i just had a data scientist on and that video is coming out this week and he said python but a lot of other people use something else r r yeah r that's what it was Did anyone know Docker had an enterprise edition? I also use Java for web development. <laughs> it's good for what it is. I know a lot of people like hate on Java, especially for web development, because they can just use JavaScript. It's very nice and easy to, to look at. But if you use Java for uh, web development, use TypeScript instead of JavaScript. Like if you're a Java developer, use TypeScript instead of JavaScript, unless you just want to move to JavaScript. You can also use JavaScript with TypeScript. What's best for web development, Java or Python? I mean, oh, better. I thought you said best. I was about to say best is probably JavaScript. It just depends. Java is mainly for very big enterprise applications. That's, yes. So I don't keep looking over there. I'm gonna pull y'all right here so I can actually see. So, so it looks like I'm looking at you. Like I said, I'm just chilling today. Yeah, Java Spring is really good. Java Spring, that's what, that's what I, that's what I use. The, the best thing, what, what I am best at is Java Spring stuff. C Sharp is underrated for web development. That's fair. A lot of people say she, C Sharp is just Java done right. <laughs> how, how can you improve in C language? Use a different one. <laughs> I don't like C. <laughs> Why is this guy just spamming chat? How about this? I am going to hide user on this channel. Ooh, love, I just love the power. If y'all are just looking at top chat instead of all live chat, you may not have seen that, but. I love software engineering, but I feel like my back and eyes hurt after a long day. Any tips to stay healthy and joyful like yourself? So. I put myself at a bit of an advantage, right? I can come and go as I please. I, I wake up, chill, do some computer work. Then I'll go outside, do something, come back in, work a little bit more, right? So I'm able to just kind of, that's, that's how I went about staying healthy and joyful. I just made my life full, how, how I like it. There have, been, there have been plenty of times, especially through college when I was working full time, school full time, building this YouTube channel and learning iOS development on my own, all of that. I wasn't health, healthy or, or joyful. 
I got four hours, five hours of sleep every night for that whole entire year. So there were some sacrifices to be able to get to this point, but it's nice to be able to do whatever you want. So it's worth it to kind of push push out a couple bad years, if you will, to to get to that point. What music you listen to? Right now, it's just some copyright free stuff. But I listen to I, I listen to everything except for like heavy metal. What hair products do you use? Nothing. Improve in C by seeing sharp. <laughs> Buy some gunner glasses and work out in the evening. May get a standing desk. Gunner glasses are those those like those blue light filter ones. And work out in the evening. Working out. People people sleep on actually like like health health. People sleep on health. <laughs> you can work out or run. I, I I mean I have as well. Don't get me wrong, but standing desk. I have a standing desk. I almost rarely use it, but I use it sometimes and it's nice. As long as you find that right position for when you're standing. Don't like lean this way, lean that way. Try to stand proper. Raspberry Pi videos. Mm, I don't care to do it. I've done one electronics thing and then I lost the electronics project I was working on so I couldn't complete the series. Because I moved houses in the middle of it and then I have no idea what happened to it. Boston Bob. Forrest, keep up the grind and have a good day until next time. Appreciate it. See, y'all, see you uh, next week. I appreciate it, Adam. I appreciate it. Job programs wear glasses because they don't see sharp. <laughs> and, and dad joke of the year award goes to. <laughs> I like that one though. I like that one. Let me get y'all's take on something. All right. So let me show y'all what we got here. I might have to go on. Oh, I already have Twitter open. I might have to go to my profile. I'll pull it over here in a sec. Don't worry. If, if, if. All right, let me put y'all over here so I can still see. All right, so can y'all see this, right? I bought a boat. Just thinking about clever boat names. Coding theme boat names. Number one, gotta bite. You like that? Gotta bite, bite. I don't need to explain that one. What about the next one? C++. Like that one is so obvious, but so nice. By far the most popular. I post this on Twitter and I post this on Instagram. By far the most popular. Initial commit. My logic behind that is because it's my first boat. <laughs> I mean, first real boat. Not like a little John boat or something. Next one, floating point. Next one, I'm compiling. Like, what do you, what, you just kind of hang out when you're compiling, right? So instead of just hanging out, you go, I'm going fishing. Hey, I, I'm not not working. I'm compiling. Unsinkable. You like that one too? Internet. Internet. I mean, come on. C sharp, C sharp, which is on the same lines as C plus plus, and then downtime, downtime, same ideas like I'm compiling. I think, and it's slightly different, but you see what I'm saying. Downtime would be a bad omen. It's uh, so it unsinkable, right? <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to say like I don't, I can't sink, right? C plus plus though, like that, that would be sick. Well, I appreciate it, Victor. I like just hanging out. I see you, Forest Knight. I see you, Evil Namekin. C++ is definitely the winner. I don't get how to say about this pun. Maybe not that high enough to understand, except C++, C Sharp, and Internet. Got a bite? All right, I'll explain it for anyone else. Like, got a bite. What do you say when a... It's a boat. You go fishing on a boat. What happens when you get a fish on the line? Oh, you got a bite. So got a bite, but it's bite. 
See, it's still different. And then, I, kinda, I feel like the other ones are kind of... This is just a pun, unsinkable, because it's sink. I, th I think you're messing with me. I think you get them. <laughs> are you able to create an app? Because I have an idea that can interest people. I have a lot of ideas. Oh, message retracted. Okay, I'll ignore that. I am. Yeah, we are still live. We're rolling. I don't know how long I've been live. How long have I been live? Three hours and 10 minutes. Got a bite isn't great. It isn't great. It's not as good as the others, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, C++ is definitely the main one. I try to find one with like Java, but it don't work since that's my... C++ is close enough. I, in all honesty, I, I got better at C++ first than Java. Like I learned Java first, but then I took those skills over to C++ and then grew with those skills and then converted them back over to Java. Have you ever used Notion? Yes, I really like Notion. I'm making a video in like two weeks about my whole entire Notion board what do they call it in notion notion my my whole entire notion do i have an email for business matters yes i do my email is on the about page of my youtube channel however i'm not open to freelance jobs right now i'm only coding for myself because i have a lot to do big projects to work on A beginner project? I mean, there are a lot of simple math projects that you, you ought to work on. Just like little math projects. C++ is the answer. In the name of the boat. When would you say is a good time to start trying out a different language when starting out? So the way it worked with me is I went, I took a intro to programming course, which did Java, Java. And then I went over to ODU who did C++. So I did C++. And then what they did is in order to allow, uh, teach you to transfer your skills from one language to another, we transferred from C++ to Java. So I didn't have any say in, in starting a different language, but if, if we want to use what they did, maybe one and a half to two years. Mind you, we build a handful of projects in that time, but one and a half to two years, I think, is the amount of time that I did from C++ straight to Java. I could be wrong, but I think that's right, about right. You graduate from ODU this semester. Good stuff. So this is your final semester. You just started it? Get into the Java. <laughs> That's funny. It also isn't C sharp. It's C sharp. What? I am able to create an app. Do you have a discord? I did, did, do, did, do, did. I have a discord, but I realized like, I wasn't able to maintain the discord because I either would just forget about it or I get carried away with other stuff, whatever it may be. So I basically just shut it down without actually shutting it down. So it's still there. If I ever care to reopen it, there's still like a thousand people, eh, maybe like 600 people in there. Hey Craig, good to see you as well. Well, I don't see you, but you get the gist. What do you think about nootropics or near infrared laser? Th I have no idea about near infrared laser therapy to increase brain function. I have heard about nootropics, but I've taken nootropics, but I think I think with that type of stuff, you got to make sure everything. And I could be wrong, but I feel like you got to make sure everything else is in check. So you got to make sure your other 
health is in check. So make sure you're healthy, cardiovascular, make sure you're working out. And I'm not saying getting bolt, getting big, but like just, you know, overall healthy, eating healthy, your diet is good. And you're well hydrated and then you can go into increasing it from there. Matt, does getting a master's degree in any CS field help me get more job opportunities? Or should I get more internships and projects for my resume? I mean, I could see a master's degree getting you more opportunities, yeah, but is it worth, is a cost worth those potential opportunities? Whereas you could get paid for said internships that you asked for, or you could just learn and for free building the projects for your resume. So just depends on what you want to do. All of those will help you. The more projects, the more internships, the more degrees, if you will, those are going to help you get opportunities. Did you like CS411W when you were at ODU? Class is a pain. CS411W, ODU. Oh, professional workforce development? Two, right? Two. So is that is that the one where so that's 410 and 411? That's the one where you like basically plan out the entire uh you plan out the entire like application and whatnot and do some research the first semester and then the second semester year you build that app, or at least as much as you can. I liked it. I mean yeah, I had a good group, so I liked it. I've had other classes like my, uh, I ain't saying no names, so, I, so I'm not going to throw anyone on the bus, but my Android, I took a mobile app development course, and we did Android rather than iOS development. We did Android with Kotlin, Java, Kotlin. Anyway, and I was supposed to be in a team with one other person. I messaged one other person the same week where we were assigned i didn't get a response from that one other person until one week before we had to turn in the project this was at least like three four weeks in between so they responded oh yeah what are you thinking for the project?" i'm like i already built a project i'm not what do you mean i'm alone <laughs> i'm doing this on my own <laughs> So as long as you don't have people like that, it should be a fun class. And who do you have? Do you have uh, Kennedy? Kennedy? Kennedy is Kennedy's the man. I've, I've met someone who doesn't like Professor Kennedy. Maybe not like him, but he didn't like because he was monotone. But Professor Kennedy's the man. I like him. He was always my favorite. Him and uh, Morris. Him and Morris. You going to go to sleep? Thanks for streaming. Hey, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Yeah, my, my email's in my about. It's only about my YouTube. You have to click like view address or something like that and pass the robot test. You make an Android app gonna be fun. I'm bringing back ODU CS Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, you are. Mr. Oh, Miss Brunel? Isn't Miss Brunel the advisor? I always, I always actually used, yeah, Kennedy is amazing. I, I always used Kennedy for my advisor stuff. I can, with all due respect to Miss Brunel, I can never get her to respond to any of my emails. I'd email her, she wouldn't respond, and then I'd email back, and then she'd respond. So I'm like, I don't know what happened there. So I'd always talk to Professor Kennedy since he's assistant, and he he always he always had my back. Me here, no, no, no. <laughs> that's funny. What do you think about Joshua Fluke? I've I've communicated with Josh a handful of times. Seems like a nice enough guy when I talk to him. Some of I, I don't agree with his takes on a lot of the. I, I agree with some of his takes, but I don't think I agree with most of his takes on like the life of of a of a dev. But 
I feel like now he does a lot of like exposing of companies or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't keep up with some of his stuff now, but he's a nice guy. How long do you plan to keep streaming today? Probably for about thirty more seconds. Um, I appreciate <laughs> LP. You had the same issue. Isn't that funny? But I appreciate all y'all coming by. I I'll probably leave this live. I don't know. I've cons yeah, I'll probably leave this video live. I may unlist it. Who knows? But if you really want to rewatch this video, make sure you uh, save the link. Maybe I'll add it to a playlist or something so y'all can watch it. But if you save the link on an unlisted video, you can watch it. You are late. I'm about to dip. And also like the video if you haven't liked it already. And check and check out my last video. I mean, why not? It's actually <laughs> if you like me answering questions, that's that whole entire video. So. I appreciate all y'all coming in and when we stream again i don't know hopefully like i would love to make this a weekly occurrence i may try a stream over on twitch probably not who knows but i will definitely consider doing more live streams i next time i come on to arch linux i may do a little bit of work off stream just to mess around with it but once i get to a comfortable spot then i'll probably come back on and we can do some more arch linux work otherwise if i can get up to What's the right word here? If I can feel like a confident programmer in front of all of y'all, then when I work on project engagement in the future, I will stream that as well. However, the first bit of project engagement, I'm going to stream on my own. Uh, not stream. I'm going, to, I'm going to code on my own. So I'll try to stream as much as possible with some fun, uh, fun topics. But we'll see. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Have a great week. Make sure your Monday is productive because your Monday sets the pace for the rest of the week. And I will see y'all in a video in the comment sections.